Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Entrepreneurial Finance, Financing Requirements. Imagine you start a business. What are your financing requirements? How do you get an idea of your financing requirements? Well, it is always the same in business administration. It all depends. It depends on your idea. It depends on how you want to execute your idea. Compare these two companies. Zalando, selling shoes, clothing, and so on is a growth-related company right now. They're receiving funding over time, they're receiving still funding, and they're burning cash right now because what they, what they want to do, they invest all profits into growth. It is typically growth-related idea business model. They want to be present in as many countries as possible, and so they want to increase the customer base, and this is why they invest all the money back into uh, the company and obtain more financing in order to grow more. On the other hand, Google as an example, Google received, uh, is, is, you can call it an idea related company, they received the first funding by a business angel, actually a German business angel, Andy Bechtolzheim. And uh, this guy, um, he gave them the first $100,000 um, because he liked the idea. And he said, why don't you start your own company with this idea? And these guys started their own, co uh, their own company. However, they never made marketing for their company. They just thought maybe people will come. And eventually that was what happened. People came to use the Google website, the Google search algorithm, because they found out Google has a better search algorithm and better results than all the other search engines. This is how Google started and it was a lot more idea related. So basically it all starts with an idea and this is the starting point for, for every business. Um, and then you can ask yourself, what do you get money for, for, for ideas like a shaver for women or kids driving automobiles? Probably not because it seems to be total nonsense. But for those companies like Google, or Zalando, which we just talked about, Skype or whatever, people put money into those companies. But was this really a safe bet? I mean, the Google founders, they didn't want to build their own company. They received the check and the company the name was on the check. So in order to cash in the check, they had to build their company. And this was how they became entrepreneurs. But it said that they don't want to be entrepreneurs before. So it all starts with the idea, first of all. And you have to have a good idea, um, like Google or Zalando. And then it depends on your so-called game plan. It depends on how you execute this idea. Are you idea-related and just want to put this into action and say, okay, then we wait until people come and go to our search site, which is the Google idea. Or do you do it like Zalando, knowing that you have to be present in as many countries as possible and you want to expand your user base every day. That's a different game plan. If you have that game plan, what you do then is you start thinking about more um, into financing means and, and the way how to finance your company. So it starts all with the startup idea. And then you have to spend some thoughts, even before thinking about financing, on your corporate strategy. Is it really necessary to obtain financing? Think about the SAP founders. They never got financed by venture capital and they developed a, a large corporation. They had a different business model at the very beginning. How much money do you need? Think about the Google example. Google never made marketing. If they made marketing, maybe they needed a lot more money. Think about Zalando on the other side. They needed a lot of money because their corporate strategy was growing the thing. So before you even think about finances, think about your corporate strategy. And after you've done this, then you can go into your financing strategy, asking yourself, how much money do I need? What are my finance requirements? Do I need something else besides money? Are there good sources for that? And so on. Then you're in the middle of really doing entrepreneurial finance. 
However, entrepreneurial finance always starts before. It starts with your idea and with your strategy, your strategic approach to building your business. And whenever you've done this, then you can start thinking about financing. And what you do then, you will build a spreadsheet. You might build an income statement, but in most cases, you always will do a cash flow statement because cash is the most important um, part of building a finance strategy. It all depends on cash. So what you do is you build a spreadsheet and put in all the cash inflows and all the cash outflows. However, it's not so important to, to bring in all the numbers because numbers can change easily, especially if it's projections to the future. It is more important to understand the business model because as we said before, an idea related company like Google, they don't need so much money and uh, Zalando needs a lot more money. But what are the drivers for their success? It is the return rates. It is the customer acquisition costs. It is the prices, whatever. So if you then start building your spreadsheet with all the number, and the most important, important quote is this one here. It is easy to forecast numbers with today's software. See, big Excel sheets. Show me the business model and your assumptions. So how you do that? You build your spreadsheet in a way that it allows you to change the key figures. Maybe you start with the first sheet, putting all the assumptions into the first sheet. And then you have the second sheet with all the cash in, cash outflows, and you relate those two sheets together in order to be able to play around with the assumption and see what is the consequence in our second sheet or what is the effect of changes in important figures. And this effect of change, that gives you a good sense for your business model and also gives you a good idea of your financing requirements on the one hand and also what could happen to your financing requirements if you, for example, change the speed of your development or something happens which you didn't plan and so on.